the idea that because biotechnology, pharmaceutical technology, medical technology, technology in general is now becoming more available to people who would traditionally be considered hobbyists or amateurs, that there is the distinct possibility that the next big thing to be a treatment or a cure for some major disease is going to come out of somebody's kitchen or somebody's garage and and not out of MIT or Harvard Mm -hmm. or, you know, the Aaron Diamond Center. Those big monolithic institutions do a lot of great work because traditionally the technologies that are used to develop these sorts of things are very expensive and exclusive and they they just aren't accessible Mm. to people no matter how clever those people are so now to think about the fact that especially in biotech to think about the fact that so many technologies are now available to people on a private basis or by joining a local biohacking space or a normal hacking space and to see some of the things that have been developed is, is so exciting. And I mean, a classic example of that is the, you know, the 3D printed prostheses that are, are now available. I mean, mm-hmm. it's so inspiring, especially in pediatric cases. The, the saddest thing about young children who need a prosthesis of one sort or another is that they traditionally were extraordinarily expensive and that they grow out of them. And now the idea that you can go and 3D print a custom prosthetic or, you know, a bunch of them in very little time for very little money and you can make yourself a Mega Man armor or, you know, whatever you want uh, is is so cool. And so I think more and more of that is going to come to light. And I think that more and more people are going to start doing it, you know, and and to take the, the tech up a notch, the wonderful coalition that's developing amongst diabetes to develop technology for them, uh, that is just taking off in the coolest way. And the people who are building their own insulin pumps and hacking their own insulin pumps so that they work better, it's just wonderfully inspiring to see these people doing stuff. And the Open Insulin Project is doing great work right over in the East Bay. I just have all the respect in the world for them. And they're working so hard and they're doing such great work. And, you know, more and more, I think we're going to see that sort of stuff coming to light and people are going to bring their unrecognized talent to bear on these these really, really important problems. Just everything that you see, malaria, dysentery, and it's going to be exciting to see what shows up soon, because I think the most exciting part is that the next thing is going to be so different from what we could even begin to predict. All of the futurists in the world can throw in great ideas, but I think things are going to show up that we never would have expected. And I'm excited to see what those are. Mm-hmm.